All right, doing a little uh, video test of a very cool old uh, vintage realistic. It's I forget what is this uh, eighty? Oh, what is it? Oh, STA eighty. So I just do a function test. Right now I have it hooked up to my TV. I believe that's coming in through an aux. Then I have my computer coming in through a tape. And we'll start with this. I have it on FM. Call the quiz. They've done that before, but I think this could be it for Kiss. The one thing got it through we'll some JBL, so shows, but <laughs> no antenna. Picks up really well, actually. Okay, for some pretty good quotes. Here's Detroit. I guess that's City stereo. Music on I guess yeah, the stereo button. So volumes work. <laughs> it's actually pretty. Well. Crushing right now. Um, so speakers A, I have two pairs of speakers hooked up. Two pairs of JBLs. That's a, the LX22s. This is the uh, what are they? The monitor ones, control ones. Both of them. Um, loudness. Crazy loud. Stereo mono. High filters. So here's the tape monitor. The tape monitor is a little wonky, or it plays, but here I'll play some of uh, this. Is so I'm playing my iMac or my MacBook Pro. Let's see what we got here. I put it on aux. So, okay, this is running through the aux. Through the tape. It's a little distorted on this one. There we go, I just toggled that. Cleans up if I toggle it. Um, oh, also now, the headphone works. I'm using it as my subwoofer. Just because it's easy. Um, I want to hook two sets of speakers up. It's a little trick. I don't know if it's recommended, but the best way to do it. But anyway, so here's the tape monitor. Let's put the speakers back on. Now, see there, it's a little distorted. So the tape does, definitely works. It shouldn't be that just it's just it's cutting out and distorting. There it is. That sounds good. So this something in this pot needs probably probably a spray down, but uh, all the lights work. It's it's in really good shape. This plate this is a great piece. It's a little dark in here, but uh, I'll take some good photos. I've got uh, two of these and a lot of other realistics and I'm getting receiver fever so uh, I'm going to list this one see if uh, I can get rid of one. I have two of the exact one. This is the better one so um, I don't mind beat up ones as long as they do the job. The, actually the other one needs lights which I'll put in. So anyway, cool receiver. Um, what have I not checked? Phono. I'm not going to check it. I'm guessing it works, but don't uh, hold me to that. I don't have a phono input. Um, KC95 is really crushing it. Um, what else? So yeah, the the tape in everything that I've tr tested, the tape does. Uh, I haven't tested tape outs, but this I'm the second owner. This thing's very clean, so uh, you know it, it's. Uh, I'd say it's 90% there. A little clean on the inside um, but it's in great shape 